Hey guys, this is Bridal here, and welcome back to our FIFA 13 career mode series on Liverpool. This is episode 3, and we're finally going to get started with the season. You guys have been waiting for the gameplay. We're finally going to get into the gameplay of this series. But before we start all that up, we still have some moves, some transfer uh, business to get done. I took what you guys said into account and tried to use it to the best of my advantage to make uh, smart moves, uh, smart signings, and whatnot. Some of the comments weren't in uh, while I recorded this video because I recorded this uh, over 12 hours or so ago. But I have taken a note uh, on guys like Maddox and uh, other players as well that you guys are interested in seeing. And those will be guys uh, in the future videos that I do, I'll start looking into. Especially at this point, we've spent most of our money in this uh, transfer window. So we still have a little bit left maybe to make a smaller move uh, for a guy that can be uh, more of a, a squad rotation player. But at the same time too, we've made our bed with the players that we've decided to sign. And uh, they were definitely some good ones that we picked up. Although, the only negative that I have to say of all our signings that we've uh, created here is the fact that we still weren't able to get a striker. Uh, that was the one weakness in all the signings that we created. Um, the one problem was that, you know, I went for a lot of guys and most of them were either asking for astronomical money, you know, money way more than their value truly was, or, you know, they were just straight up not interested in joining. They were happy where they were. So we had a bunch of those situations. One of the interesting ones, though, I had with Klaasian Hunselar and uh, Fernando Lorente was that they were both in the last year of their contracts and our chief executive was saying to us hey these guys are you know in their last year we can actually offer less money to these teams and they might actually sign a deal with us for a cheaper amount and I was actually really interested in that I'm like oh, okay here we go we can get a really good player like uh, like I said Huntelar or Lorente for a cheaper price and bring them in and then have a you know a class a striker on our team but the problem with it was that you know both those teams weren't interested in taking less they still wanted to stay at that amount so I'll be interested to see in the future of this is that I'm going to you know, continue to look out for this and see that maybe there will be a situation that we can actually get a player for less money. But for the time being, we haven't seen that fully yet. And so it'll be interesting, like I said, to see if that's something that we can do. There's uh, the Lorente one there where they're saying that we could actually offer you know, 5.9 uh, million pounds and that would have might have worked. Uh, so we went for 6.5 seeing to get that done. You know, 10.5 isn't that bad for him, but it was at the same time, you know, after making our Sako signing here, uh, we weren't, you know, really at the same amount of money that we had before and throwing that much money at, while we we're actually working on getting a lava as well was something that I wasn't sure that we could do. And um, so essentially what, you know, this came down to was that, you know, we got Sacco, we got Alaba, but we weren't able to find that striker that we need and we're still looking for him. What will likely happen now is it's going to be more of an option to us to try and find someone that's younger, maybe less money, and, you know, find a real good, you know, 20, 21 year old gem and uh, try and bring him in as a striker because we'll have Barini up there still we can work Suarez in a striker role if we need be and uh, you know then we can also have this young player maybe mid 70s lower 70s wouldn't be that great right now but he could have a great potential uh, you know a bunch of guys were saying about Maddox that he'd be a guy uh, to pick up I'm you know from the area I'm from BC so I mean picking up a guy that plays for the Vancouver Whitecaps would be a good thing definitely obviously he's not a, a Canadian I believe he's from Jamaica uh, but we'll look into that in the future I have yet uh, yet to see uh, where uh, his value is exactly so I'm not sure how much funds we need to try and pry him away from the Whitecaps but that'll be something that we'll definitely try and do with that said though guys we're ready to start the season after making our acquisitions and here we are playing at West Bromwich Albion on our opening day game we're hoping to not recreate history and we're hoping to get a win in our first uh, managerial debut uh, against West Bromwich Albion. Hopefully we'll get the win and hopefully start off on the right foot. Here you can see they're starting a lineup, they're starting 11. And also here's our starting 11 guys. we got Barini up front along with Sterling and Suarez. Sterling, uh, Sterling had a great uh, three friendlies so I decided that it was good uh, for him to get the start, get some confidence up for him. You can also see Alaba and Sacco on the left side of the pitch there playing in the left back and left center back roles. Uh, we had Egger on the bench. You could actually see while we were talking through this that there was a nice article about Egger. Um, just well, not really nice for him, but nice article saying, hey, you know, this might be jeopardizing his position. But here, right away, seven minutes in, we get a nice chance from Suarez, and he scores, guys. We get the first goal of the game. Great goal from Suarez on the the nice feed there uh, from Nuri Sahin. We are very close to getting a save there, but we just get it over the goalkeeper. And uh, that's our uh, first goal for the season, guys, pretty early on, too. So we get a nice start to this one. Now Sterling here with his first chance of the game. Tries to feed it into Barini, but Foster grasps it in his hands. Uh, Barini is back in the action here with a couple of minutes later, feeding into Suarez, who tries to get a nice chance right here, but it's blocked by the defender. He's able to get the ball back, though. Has a nice open chance here to get another goal for himself, but Foster with a nice big save. 
lunging to get that one and uh, keeping it just to a corner. Suarez feeding it again into the box. Sacco not able to get his head on it, but Allen does the volley shot. Uh, nothing really coming from that either. Uh, but one more chance here comes of it as well. Sacco is able to lob it over to uh, Barini in the corner there who tries to feed it back in to the box, but no, no one's really there and uh, Foster is able to get on that one as well. Now moving ahead a little bit forward, uh, Leno just gets his first touch of the game. Nothing really that big there, but he's still able to get uh, his hands on the ball and keep it safe. Now closing in uh, on the half here, really big open chance for West Bromwich Albion. Sacco kind of falls asleep on the play, and so do we. But uh, Leno's there to make amazing save for us and keep this 1-0 one, one going into the second half. So pretty good start to the game, guys, minus that last uh, little error there. Sacco actually had a pretty good start to the game. Uh, but yeah, no, you can see here's the, the other halftime scores. And uh, we'll go to the match details here just so you guys have a little bit of a look of what's going on. Now, guys, uh, West Bromwich Albion is starting off the second half here. And they're hoping to get back into this one, obviously. Do not want to lose their home opener. Uh, that's nothing really that anybody wants to do. Here they get an early chance off the header uh, from the corner, but nothing really coming of it as Leno just sees that one off. Another one here comes from Odom Wingy as he's able to feed into Dorans who spins and shoots, but just goes wide again. Leno just kind of sees that one off. Here though, uh, 52 minutes in, we have a chance here uh, as Gerard feeds it over to Sahin. Sahin gets it over to Starling with lots of space in the middle here. Tries to drive a shot into the net, but just goes wide. And at this point we decide, okay, we're going to make a little bit of a change. Uh, we bring off Gerard and we bring on Lucas Leva, trying to bring a little bit more of a defensive uh, presence to our midfield as we move forward into this game into the later stages. Uh, but yeah, we, we were doing pretty good at this point. The shots were pretty even. We had a little bit better of a uh, possession, but still relatively close game, even though the score was 1-0 uh, for Liverpool at this point. Here's 65 minutes in. Uh, West Bromwich Albion gets a pretty good chance coming up here as uh, our defense kind of splits off and... Uh, uh, Brent there takes a really long shot and actually almost goes in the net. That was a very uh, long chance for him, but still he's able to get a pretty good chance off of it. Here Suarez gets a chance as well, but nothing really much. Uh, Foster's able to easily grasp that one. After the chance, we make a couple changes as well as we bring on Shelby and uh, Asadi for Sterling and Sahin. Essentially trying to keep the team fresh at this point as we're running down the clock. We want to keep this as a 1-0 uh, lead if we can. Here, though, we actually get a chance from uh, Suarez feeding it up to the Asadi, who's got plenty of time, and he puts it away, guys. That's a 2-0 lead, and late into the game, the sub comes on, and he scores the goal. Big impact by Asadi. We're going to have to make sure if we're saying his name right, if he's going to keep scoring goals like that. There, though, we have the 2-0 lead. Very comfortable at this point. There's not too much time left for West Bromwich to Albion to do anything at this point. Here they get a chance uh, late in the game, but nothing really major coming out of it as we're able to clear this one out. Um, but yeah, guys, you know, pretty good start to the season. One more chance here. Skrull is able to block it, and it goes uh, to the way of Johnson, who's able to clear it out. And you can see that is the end of the game. We get the 2-0 win. Uh, we start the season off on the right foot. We start a managerial career out on the right foot as well, as uh, Leno has a great clean sheet to start the season. And we get some uh, good plays from all around. Uh, Sterling, good start to the season. There's Suarez getting the man of the match award, well-deserving as he gets a goal and an assist on the great pass up to Asadi. That said, we'll take a look at the match facts now, guys. You can see relatively close game. We have more shots on target overall, a little bit better possession. There's the final scores from the other games. And uh, we got an email back for uh, Fernando Lorente. They're not interested in doing it, like I said. We weren't able to get Hunt Alarm. We weren't able to get Lorente. They were just uh, not interested in coming. It's obviously because we offered a lot less money. Uh, here, though, it's an interesting one, as you can see, that uh, Sterling shines in his debut. Uh, for us this season. It was one of those things that uh, Sterling asked to play in the game. I was already thinking about doing it, but him asking, I usually try and oblige to my players wanting to get in. You know, if a younger player or a, even an older player that hasn't been playing a while says, hey, you know, I want to get in, I want to I want to play a game, I usually let them uh, have a chance to, you know, prove themselves so they do good, then, you know, they, they get some positive feedback and good morale boost, I think, from that. So, here you can see as well our little bit of de or debut article talking about the new players, uh, how we did as well. And uh, here's the second article just essentially saying, you know, what the, what the fans are looking for in the second game, hoping for us to get a second win. This time around, though, we're playing a lot harder of a team. It's Arsenal, and we're hoping, though, uh, in our home debut at Anfield, we can get the win in this game as well. It's definitely going to be a tough challenge in this one, guys, because we're playing a really good team in Arsenal, and they've won their first game as well. So both teams have uh, full points to start the season. One of them is going to drop in this game, and hopefully it won't be us as we're uh, looking to get a win at home uh, after getting a win on the road. Uh, but yeah, you can see the opening cinematics here once again, ESPN. And uh, just touching on that a little bit, I think the, the reasons you guys have been asking a little bit about why that is uh, 
for me, when I've started up this, uh, you know, started up FIFA 13 and played in the past, my uh, option for language has been um, English, U.S. I'm Canadian, but um, you know, I've chosen the U.S. one over the U.K. one, and I think we're doing that. It, you know, kind of puts you into this, uh, you know, the ESPN one because that's uh, what most uh, Americans see when they watch uh, football at home. Uh, for me, when I watch football, it's actually a little bit of weird mix because it's um, from our own channel. But then you have uh, the Sky Sports feed, and then they cut back at halftime uh, back to the, our own channel. So we don't get the commentators from uh, Sky Sports, but we do get the, the commentary. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of a weird thing. Like, I, I see these games every once in a while, but still, you know, the actual layout of how it looks re looks really nice. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep it as is. It probably could investigate and change it around, but it does look pretty nice, and it looks pretty official, so it's kind of cool to roll with that. Here to start the game off, we uh, get an early chance here. Sahin feeding it over to Saadi. Tries to open it up with a chance to start off the game, but a great save by Chesney uh, starting off there. And we get a, a corner to come from this as well. Suarez feeds it into the box. Nothing really comes of the chance, though, as uh, the Arsenal defender is able to move it out. Sahin tries to feed it over to Saadi, but again, Arsenal is there to keep it uh, to a safe uh, situation for them. Moving to the 24th minute, uh, Arsenal gets their first real chance of the game. We're doing relatively good to start the game, but they started turning the screw on us a little bit at the 24th minute mark. Started getting actual chances for themselves. Bastos there takes a shot, but it just goes wide. Nothing really doing for him there at that point. Another chance, though, as uh, the pass goes to Walcott, kind of goes off his leg, and it deflects in an odd situation that gives Arsenal a chance to almost get a break there, but we're able to close him out. At the 33 minute though, uh, Mark uh, Senna passes over to Corzola. Here, uh, feeds it over to Wilshire. Lots of movement, and uh, Podolski have a great chance there to get the lead for them, but it doesn't work out. Uh, we're feeling safe at this point. I try and lightly pass over to Johnson, but it gets a bad touch off his leg, and uh, this gives them a great chance, a lot of room. Uh, Ramsey comes in and takes a nice little curled shot into the back of the net there. That's a one nothing lead for Arsenal, unfortunately. Uh, the, the touch from Johnson wasn't great, and that leads to a turnover and the eventual goal for Arsenal uh, to give them the 1-0 lead at the early points of this game. So at this point, like I said, they started turning the screw, and the screw continued to be turned. I thought we could get a little bit of our advantage back. But here Wolcott comes in, great chance, and the defender we able to slide in there just barely, and uh, Egger makes a great save as that probably would have been another goal. Uh, at the 44-minute mark here, that uh, they get one more chance. We're able to clear it out once again. And... Uh, at this point, like I said, feeling really tense uh, as we don't want to give up too much at this point. You know, we want to keep this a 1-0 game, and we're still in this, obviously, but we're, we're worried at this point because we do not want to have a stinker at home, especially this early in the season. We are playing a team that is on our level and probably a team that we're going to have to challenge for if we want to get into the Champion League spots. Uh, but right now, you know, this is uh, not the way that we want the game to be going. Here though we start up the, the second half and uh, we try and bring the play to them, try and get some more chances going our way. Suarez feeds it up to uh, right here Barini but it kind of just gets deflected and doesn't really uh, amount to anything much here. More sloppy play kind of results in Leva here getting a lot of open space. Takes a shot and Chesney with amazing save there. Uh, not at the top corner so it wasn't you know the perfect perfect uh, shot from Leva but still a pretty uh, good chance from him. Here, uh, Asadi gets another chance, though, and we get the goal, guys. Uh, Asadi, again, with another goal for us. He's uh, really contributing early on in this season. Got the goal off the bench, and now off the corner, he gets a nice chance here. Puts it past Chesney, and the game is tied now at the 52nd mark. So that said, guys, the game is now tied once again. It's now 1-1, and uh, the favor of the momentum has gone a little bit back in our favor here. Uh, Arsenal, though, a couple minutes later gets a chance off this play, and uh, Pelosi is able to work it here off the bad defense for myself. Gets a shot off Wilshire right there, puts it away, but it is offside, uh, unfortunately, for Arsenal. Fortunately for us, the linesman makes the right call. It was just offside by an inch, and we're still in this game, and it's 1-1 at this point. Uh, we get the corner from this play, though. At the 60-minute mark, Suarez feeds it in uh, to uh, the open box, but the, the play doesn't really go uh, much into a chance there. We bring off Gerard and uh, bring on Allen as uh, Gerard's getting a little bit tired and we want to you know, bring a little bit more energy into the play at this point, trying to get that next goal uh, for ourselves to keep uh, the momentum going in our favor and hopefully get the win here at home. Uh, moving the ball around here, Barini tries to head it over to uh, the, the Suarez there, but it doesn't work out. Uh, Barini again in the play, trying to make some chances. Sahin 
uh, feeds it over to Suarez here, who sees Barini moving in there, and he passes it over to him, but he does a quick little turnaround there, just goes wide, Barini's first real chance of the season, and uh, nothing really coming with it that much there. Now we move ahead to the 74th minute here. Bastos feeds it in uh, to the, uh, the box there and it uh, doesn't really uh, turn into much as Leno's able to stop that one from turning into anything dangerous. And uh, now we move the ball up our way. Asadi over to Barini who finds Allen. Allen finds Suarez on the side there. He does a little bit of a turn, gets some space, takes the long shot and it goes in the net guys. That's our second goal of the game. We got the lead now at the 77th minute. Suarez with a nice goal there. Two goals for him, two goals for Asadi. Both those guys are clicking and making a lot of great plays. The chemistry between them has obviously been pretty good to start the season thus far. And now we've got the lead moving into the last minutes of the game here. Now at the 84th minute here, uh, Sterling feeds it over to Leva, who finds an open Suarez up ahead. Could have taken more time, but he just goes uh, with the shot from long range, goes right over the bar, feeling confident after his long goal from before. Now at the 86th minute here, uh, Polski gets a chance off uh, the pass there. Takes the shot, but Leno makes the save. And at this point, guys, starts a succession of corners for Arsenal, succession of chances for them. And the clock goes to a grinding halt pretty much as we're just trying to keep this one out of our box, keep the chances low, and hopefully hold on for this win. Uh, now from the, the, the throw in there, they get a chance. Sanya trying to come in, but Eger's kind of able to the wheel him off, and the, the ball goes out for another corner here. And uh, they bring the Chesney up, and it's uh, that eking feeling of just, oh, we've got to get the win here. We've got to do it. Egger gets it out, and uh, they get the chance right there. Leno's out of the play. Egger tries to clear it once again. I didn't know what to do at this point, and I just had that terrible sinking feeling when this happened. I'm like, we just gave up a penalty in the last uh, last minute of this game. Why? <laughs> it just... It just it felt bad because, you know, this game was going against us. Thought we were going to get the win here. And uh, at the very last minute, we give away a penalty. Still have a chance to make the save. We're hoping Leno can do it. But it goes right down the middle. We should have held it in the middle. But, you know, you can see the, the devastation on Leno there as he just falls over after the goal goes in. And unfortunately, guys, we don't get the win here. A late goal from uh, Podolski off the penalty. And uh, now it's a 2-2 tie to finish this one up. Suarez, the man of the match once again, but unfortunately, like I said, we only get the draw of this one. It's heartbreaking to say the least, guys, but I mean, at least we got the point. That's the positive out of it, and we got 4 out of 6 to start the season, which is still pretty good. There you can see the match facts is relatively close, a little bit in Arsenal's favor. But I really did enjoy this game because it gave us a chance to see how we would do against the big side. We've got more of those to come, so it's going to be a real big challenge of us to win those games because we need to win the big ones in order to get into a Champions League spot. That's the end of this video, though. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next episode won't be tomorrow. It'll be the day after. I'm quite busy tomorrow with school and work at the same time. Uh, so stay tuned for that along with the League 2 series starting up tonight as well. So yeah, uh, thanks again for guys for watching, and thanks for all the support. I really appreciate it. As uh, you know, I'm really enjoying doing these videos and I'm enjoying all the feedback that your guys are giving. So yeah, keep uh, watching my stuff. I'll have more coming in the future, obviously, on these two series and uh, the FIFA Ultimate Team as well. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now, guys. Cheers.